Hello. Chances are you clicked on this video because you're interested in uh, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, or delayed stress reactions, or post-traumatic stress syndrome, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, well, you're in the right place. I'm Steve Barham and I'm an independent emotional researcher and in 2001 I started having flare-ups of anger in 2002 I was diagnosed with Graves disease and thyroid issues thyroidism and in uh, by 2003 2004 it had burned itself out and I was uh, had I had a very severe case of candida, which is uh, bacterial overgrowth in the intestines, and that gave me a very severe case of leaky gut syndrome, where uh, bowel matter from, <laughs> matter from your intestines gets in your bloodstream and it goes everywhere. And it's very nasty stuff and you feel just awful. Well, in 2007, I was a nervous wretch of a human being. I used to walk around in my brown bathrobe looking like a Jawa in Star Wars with my, my hands huddled around my neck, you know, going, going, what happened to my life? I was so cool, <laughs> you know, okay. And so uh, I was like that for two years, basically. The fighting, the physical fighting of this malady you know was just uh, tremendous on the body both physically mentally and emotionally trauma and stress are not always war and combat there are a lot of different types of combat and there are a lot of different types of battle and they can bother and get to a person stress wise and emotionally uh, anything, okay, and it can just accrue. It can be, it can be wham and now, or it can be accrued, 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 a little bit, a little bit, and accrued, and accrued, and more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And pretty soon it becomes full blown. That's what happened with my Graves disease. It started out a little bit here and there, but eventually it became full blown, and I had all of these symptoms. Well, I have had all of the 18 or 20 symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. I had a friend, well, I tell you what, let's go over to my website, Happiness is No Charge, hnc-today.weebly.com. Click the link below and I'll tell you about more what happened to me and I'll tell you about a technique that helps stop those symptoms. It can stop those flashbacks. It can stop those associations. It can stop the stress. It can stop the anxiety. It can stop the shock of what you went through. It can help you with those suppressed emotions that you are suppressing just to be able to do your job. And I'm not talking about the military. I'm talking about your work. There are a lot of stressed out businessmen who have suppressed their emotions so they can just get their job done. Okay? They're co-workers, people who, who work under the boss who've been suppressing their emotions and end up with post-traumatic stress disorder because it was stressful, but they've su suppressed it and suppressed it and suppressed it. Well, one day they wake up debilitated and having an episode even though they're not physically sick. I'll tell you about a friend's experience and I'll tell you about my niece's experience and she was in the military, she was a Navy nurse. And I'll tell you about their experiences. So click on the link below, let's go over there and watch the rest of the video. Thank you so much.